Welcome to MUTV Online. I'm Will Pelagic here in Oxford, Mississippi, where the Missouri Tigers just concluded their game here with the Ole Miss Rebels. Both teams 1-0 coming in with squeaky victories. Missouri over Illinois and Ole Miss just barely eking one out against Memphis. The team's going at it in what would be an amazing offensive onslaught. Missouri and Ole Miss played last year at Faro, but Vaught Hemingway was rocking this evening. More than 50,000 in attendance late first quarter. Missouri's Martin Rucker. Third and five, trucks his way through the defense for a first down. Neither team would score in the opening quarter, but on the first play of the second after Truman fights with the Ole Miss officials, Chase Daniel. Fakes right, goes over the middle to William Franklin for the touchdown, puts the Tigers up seven to nothing. More of this combination. Daniel goes back deep and throws it long. 40 yards down the field for Will Franklin. And Mizzou, just like that, is up 14 to nothing. Pay dirt. And Truman has 14 push ups to come. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis of Ole Miss had a big day on the ground. Those are 24 of his yards here into the MU secondary and into MU territory at the 20. Fans loving it, but this was his lone blemish. Green Ellis runs over Van Alexander, but puts it on the green. And a big scramble, a pile up, and underneath, you'll see that Darnell Terrell is in the fetal position, and MU comes up with the football. Ensuing drive, Tony Temple breaks out. 33 yard gain here, his longest run on the day and the season out of bounds. And just like that, Gary Pinkle sees his rushing offense coming to fruition, and Chase Daniel would make sure of that as well. A 13 yard scramble for him. And Daniel showing that he can run as well. Three plays later, Chase Daniel is doing some parking and needs to find some space for the truck. Finds Martin Rucker all the way to the garage for six. 21 zip roadies. Ole Miss finally answers. Seth Adams finds Shea Hodges. 21 7 Missouri. Ole Miss finally gets to celebrate. Under a minute and a half, Tigers go to the hurry up. Chase Kaufman takes the Chase Daniel pass over the middle for 14. It works so well the first time, they'll go to it again. Chase Kaufman from Chase Daniel. This combination works so well for the Tigers. We'll go to the second half with the Tigers up 28 to seven. More of the same. Tony Temple on the ground, 26 of his 126 on the ground into Ole Miss territory. And that would set up the sprinter. Chase Daniel pumps and says, go on and get it, young man. Greg Bracey plays Willie Mays and gives the Rebels a rude and painful surprise. For the six, 35-7 Tigers. Tiger. Daniel pumps up his sprinter and pumps up the crowd. You think this one's over, right? Wrong. Ole Miss. Seth Adams would go for the home run. Mike Wallace is gone. All we need is Andy Rooney, and we have a 60-minute special. 35-13 after a missed extra point, and back come the Tigers with Tony Temple. More of him. He trucks the defender. It would get a field goal out of that drive. 38-13 Mizzou. Tiger defense, though, starting to unravel. Darnell Terrell gets called for the pass interference on a fourth and goal. That sets up the fade pattern. Adams finds Greg Hardy in the end zone. 38-19, Tigers. He's pumped all over Carl Geddes. He's saying shenanigans. A little extracurricular activity there involving Pig Brown and Geddes, and the Rebels would not stop there. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis runs it in for the score, and now the Rebels are two scores away from don't call a comeback. Green Ellis again, 29 yards here of his 228 on his own making a mockery out of the Tigers rush defense but the Tigers bend and don't break they find some pass rush late in the fourth quarter Lorenzo Williams the senior the captain puts Adams on his back and that would signal the fans beginning to leave Greg Bracey your thoughts just another day at the office Mizzou wins 
38 to 25. Chase Daniel, 31 out of 45 for 350 yards, five touchdowns. Team goes over, sings the fight song for the fans, and the Tigers will get on the plane back to Columbia with two straight road victories. 38 to 25, your final in Oxford, and the Grove was rocking today, but the Tigers came in and took care of business here in Oxford. They moved to 2 0. They will play Western Michigan next week back home at Faroe Field in Columbia. For METV Online, I'm Will Pelagic.